Hey everybody, Professor Kennedy here with this week's Raiders Review. Football is the greatest team game because at all times you're going to take everyone to perform as one in order to get the job done. The case was no different Thursday night when the Raiders took on the Chargers. You needed a total team effort. There were times the defense took over, there was times that the offense needed to score, and the special teams even chimed in. A total team game promoted a great team win. Let's take a look at some of the plays that I thought stood out in my mind. I want to take a look at Eric Harris's pick six. In this situation, the offense is two by two, and the Raiders are playing too deep. The safety has got the half of the field. Eric, so Eric is responsible for that half of the field. A two-man route combination, short in, deep curl. Eric is going to do a great job at reading Philip Rivers' eyes when he wants to go to the curl route, and he's going to jump it for the interception. Let's take a look at the play. Look at Philip Rivers' eyes. He's looking at the two-man route combination. Hunter Henry, the tight end, slips down. But even before that, look how Eric jumps the ball. So even if Hunter Henry was standing up, he would have still made a great play on the ball. Either a deflection, in this case, it turned out a pick six. Great momentum game for the Raiders very early. You recall earlier I said that everyone has to do their part? Well, we saw in the earlier play that Eric Harris's pick six was coverage on its part in the secondary. Now it's time for the D-line to contribute. And in this instance, we picked out a TE stunt. Actually, it's an ET stunt. Cleveland Farrell's gonna come down and collapse the guard. And he's gonna do it so hard, the guard has no way of recovering. Hankins is gonna come around. Now in this instance, the tackle actually tries to block too, but because he's got these guys coming with such momentum and speed, there's no way to prevent the sack and Farrell from getting on Phillip Rivers. This does two things. Not only does it have a big time play for the defense, but it also makes your quarterback start looking at the rush rather than looking downfield. That's advantage defense. Let's take a look. Cleveland just smashes the guard. Now it becomes one on two. The tackle is actually trying to block two by holding his arms out. What a great ET stunt. And the coverage does this on the back end. You've got a four-man rush, and you've got a meeting at the quarterback. Now, for you guys that are watching at home, I know you've seen a lot of analytics on your TV screen when it comes to quarterback dropping, release, and all that stuff. And you know how they have that, that little clock in the corner that tells you how long it takes for a quarterback to get rid of the ball? When well, this next play, we're going to think about defensive side. Cleveland Farrell is going to have an outstanding speed rush on this young tackle in, in Thursday night's game. And he's going to get there so quickly, just around three seconds, that Phillip Rivers has nothing to do but other than to take the sack. Now, this is a total team effort because in this instance, the rush is going to get there and the coverage has got to stand up. This is what we deem a coverage sack, mainly because of the time. Watch Phillip Rivers' eyes and look how he has to scan the field before the time runs out and Cleveland comes with a big sack. Take a look. He's already on top of the quarterback. Now, see how quickly it got there? But the coverage has to hold up. The guys did a great job at passing off. It's zone, two deep zone coverage, and they did a great job of passing it off. Phillip Rivers has nowhere to go with the football. Then when he wants to take his check down, the sack. Now watch Cleveland's rush. Nice arm bar, and he turns his corner, and this is what he does very well. Turns the corner on a dime, gets downhill, and accelerates. Look at Phillip. There's nowhere to go with the ball. He has no choice. He thinks protection's holding it up. Sack. You remember today's theme is total team effort, right? So this is where it sets up the final situation. Fourth quarter, below two minutes. You need four points. Field goal won't do. You need a big time touchdown, and defense has done its part, given the offense ball. Derek Carr and this offense has done a great job of getting down the field and getting in this position. But now you need a big play. Take a look at the scenario. Darren Waller's gonna go in motion. And if I stop it there, Count how many people are in the box. You are looking at essentially an eight-man front. Typically, you don't want to run into this. But in this situation, it was a very gutsy call, a very well-timed call, because the Chargers had no idea what's going to happen. Let's take a look at the play. Downhill, ISO, safety's out of place. Jacobs runs for an 18-yard touchdown. Chargers are mad. Raiders will take the lead. Now let's take a look at how it works from the end zone angle. After Waller's motion, Corner goes out and covers them. You count again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight man box. This is an old lead play, it's called ISO. What ISO is, man blocking, man blocking, fullback on the will backer because this is the weak side of the formation. Tight ends to the strength, tight ends to the left. So this is ISO. Center and guard do a great job at a tandem block up to the mic, take him out. Tackle man, tight end man. Now they can also work a tandem block if this Will was more into the hole. Or Sam, I should say, is more into the hole. But since he's not, it's a great job that Colton Miller, 
did, a, did a, just an ISO ISO block on Bosa to take him out of the play. The great thing about this is the hole is right here. Jacobs gets downhill, sees that the safety's out of place, makes him miss, and sprints for the end zone. There's no one left to stop him scoring. Look at the execution. Now watch the tandem block between Richie Incognito and Rodney Hudson. Take out the defensive tackle, the nose guard, backer, boom. Engold even gets a little cleanup block. Safety takes a horrible angle. Celebrate. So what did we learn from the game against the Chargers? Well, I know it was a hard stopper, and I know you guys were on the edge of your seat just as much as I was. But it showed a total team effort. Offense did its job when it had to. Defense did its job when it had to. Even special teams did their job when they had to. This is a total team effort, and it's really inspiring because this is a very young team that has had a number of rookies and young guys and first-year players contribute to its success. Now, five and four, the sky's the limit, but it's not going to get any easier. It's going to be a battle of attrition just like it is around the National Football League. Injuries, timing, and a number of things to deal with, but I do like where this team is headed. It's inspiring to see this effort on such a short week. Who knows what the rest of the season holds for these Raiders, but right now, it's really a fun time to be a part of the Raider Nation and to be a part of the Silver and Black. Well, that does it for this week's Raider Review. We'll see you next time. Hey Raider Nation, if you like that video, please hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss any of our exclusive content, behind the scenes footage, and more. Go Raiders.